Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about a headline that seems to pop up every single year without fail and it always reads something like tooth decay is the most common reason for young children to be admitted to hospital or rotting teeth is the cause, uh, leading cause of hospital admissions in children. Now the number of dental extractions on children has actually increased by around 25% in the last 10 years, which is absolutely shocking and ridiculous um, and it really shouldn't be happen happening in this day and age because dental decay is a totally preventable disease. Now this headline really needs to change and I really believe that the key to preventing and treating disease is to first understand why we get it. So today I'm going to talk about why we get dental decay so that hopefully when we do give you the advice it will make more sense and you'll be able to understand and retain that information better. So we all know that sugar is the main culprit, we all know that sugar causes decay but how does how does the sugar that we eat actually form holes in the teeth? So we've got millions and millions of bacteria in our mouth and we've got both good bacteria and bad bacteria. So some bad bacteria can cause the decay and these bacteria are known as karyogenic bacteria. Every time we have something sugary to eat, the bacteria uses the sugar that we eat um, for energy and as a byproduct it produces acid. So basically every time we have something sugary to eat we're feeding these bacteria and then they're pooping acid and we call this an acid attack. And these acids cause the minerals to be lost from your tooth surface um, and this process is called demineralization. And over time repeated acid attacks can start to destroy the enamel and cause holes. Luckily, your saliva can actually neutralize these acids. Saliva also has minerals that can replace the minerals that are lost. And this process is called remineralization. But it takes about 30 minutes for the saliva to neutralize these acids after a sugar attack. So there's a constant cycle of losing minerals and replacing minerals. However, if we lose more minerals than we replace, then inevitably we're gonna get a hole. So basically that means that Every time you have something sugary, it produces an acid attack and then your saliva is trying to neutralize those acids. Um, so if you're having frequent sugar attacks, then you don't give chance for your saliva to neutralize those acids. So hopefully that makes some sense to you. Um, if it didn't, let me know and I'll try to explain it better. Um, but if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up. And in the next video, I'm going to be explaining how can we prevent dental decay.